I'm Stephen Brinkman. I'm here receiving proton therapy at Emory. My family is absolutely amazing. I got married back in 2006. We have four kids. I'm actually a pastor at Midland United Methodist. It's uh, the church I grew up in, which is really unheard of usually, especially in the Methodist church. But I'm um, back there. I've been there for starting my seventh year now. Um, absolutely love it. Back in 2007, um, the doctors noticed something uh, in an MRI that I had and um, then followed it along in 2010. Uh, once again, with my MRI, I noticed a change and so did a biopsy and were able to diagnose at that time as an astrocytoma brain tumor and then removed it in June of 2010. Often the case, the tumor tends to come back even after surgery. And for his tumor, it came back in a place that the surgeon could not safely remove. You don't expect <laughs> to have any problems. But. With such a tough day when you get tough news, uh, Dr. Zong was incredible. Um, I actually left once again with hope that, you know, there's something that can be done. His tumor is located in a section of the brain next to some very important areas the temporal lobe, the hippocampus, and the pituitary gland. Unfortunately, with normal radiation, or what's known as photon radiation, those would get a significant dose of radiation. But using protons, we're able to shape the beam to actually avoid treating those areas and avoid the side effects of treating those areas. During the therapy, as far as, you know, kind of what I feel, I don't really feel anything. Quite honestly, I spend that time, you know, just in prayer and just going, God, make it happen. Um, you know, here I am, uh, you've done incredible things uh, through medical technology and doctors and researchers have done so much. And here I am with this opportunity, whatever it can't do, you do. Um, and so I'm grateful for the opportunity to have it and then just trusting that God can do whatever else it takes. Yes, please.